How to create Wix custom forms. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create custom forms on Wix. So let's get into it. Now, by now you already understand how you can make your Wix website. It's very simple and easy. And once you have created your website, you might want to add some forms. And if we click on add over here and we go into the contact and form section, you can add any of these forms. And you might be wondering, why would you add a custom form when you can add a basic form? Well, the reason that you need to know how to add Add a custom form is because if we add this template so let's just use one of these templates and it provides you with a bunch of fields I'm not saying that the forms provided by Wix are not that good they are very nice but they don't allow you a lot of information so once you have added this basic form let's just resize it now if you wanted to add more custom fields you're gonna click on add new field and eventually after you add a couple of more fields to this form so let's just add this 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 we want all of these different details now you can see over here that for unlimited fields you're gonna have to upgrade your plan on wix so you can add as many as you want and that's the limitation with these preset fields on wix although these forms are very good you can't add a lot of different details and you might want to have do those kinds of details and if you want a detailed form then you need to know how you can create one so you're just gonna scrap this because it's not gonna allow you to add as much as you want so for adding your own custom forms what you're going to do is first off you're going to go on to the left and you can see if you scroll down on the second last you have a content manager and you're just going to click over here and you're going to add your contact manager once you have added a contact manager you're going to add create new collection and then you can see what kind of collection you want so you're going to add join us and then you're going to click on create collection now after that this dashboard will pop up as in your content manager and you're going to wait for this to load and you're going to add and change the settings of this uh, content manager so first off you have added this content manager and it has different sort of fields added to it and you need to make sure that you enable a uh, sub form submissions on this content manager so if you go on to your basic content manager you can see over here this is a join us box the one that we're going to add and you're going to go into collection settings then you can use what this collection is for so you're going to be collecting information in this form basically and you need to make sure that it is form submission so everyone can submit data to this collection and you want to make sure that you do change this from site content to form submission otherwise this is going to work in reverse and you're going to be outputting information however you want to be inputting information so once you do that you can just click on save and now this is going to function as your form so although there are some basic templates that are added to this uh, form you can always remove and hide them once you have removed any of the unnecessary stuff you can just click on add over here and you can start adding your own different fields so scroll down over here and you can see over here there are many different forms now let's just say if you have a first form you can add after that what we're going to do is we're going to click on add over here and then obviously you're going to add the title so you're going to add name and if this is a bit inconvenient for you to navigate through you can just click on cross over here go back into your basic Wix dashboard. So if you go onto your Wix dashboard, if using the dashboard over there can be a bit annoying and you can't really make your form correctly. So you go back to your My Site section, your basic Wix dashboard, and you can click on Site Actions. And this is going to lead you to your basic home dashboard on Wix. Instead of opening up the website editor and then editing on top of the website editor, you can just directly go into the dashboard. But you will have to enable and download your content manager from your Wix editor first and then you can go into your dashboard go to your content manager over here and then you can see over here that you can click on your collections so any of the collections that you have created we're just going to refresh this because it hasn't appeared yet but you have to initially create your content manager list from your website editor and then you can edit it on the dashboard which i find to be a bit inconvenient by wix but it's fine it just takes a couple of extra seconds to add a list from there now after you have done that you're going to change your name the name for your content form so you're just going to change this 
And now what you're going to do is enter your submissions. I'm gonna add name, and then you can add more columns as well. And for that, you're gonna have to add the sandbox editor to modify field, and you can't do that from here. But in general, that's how it works. And if you want to just uh, do it directly from the website editor, it's fine. The platform is gonna be a bit more annoying, and the navigation is a bit off right now for some reason. Usually it's not that bad, but today for some reason the editor is not working as fast or as smoothly as it usually does so you can see that you have four hidden fields over here and you can unhide them and delete them as well once you have adequately designed whatever you want so let's just say new field called names we're gonna save that we can add another field called um, experience. You can add that. And then if you scroll to the right over here, you can keep on adding as many fields as you want. Phone number. And you can also change what kind of field you want this to be. So if you go into the properties section and you scroll down, you can see what type of field it is. If you want an image, if you want a number, if you want a date and time, if you want a rich content, multi-reference, if this needs to be a URL, audio, website, anything like that. So you can make people submit any kind of information that you want on this. So for the phone number, I'm going to go on priorities. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it into numbers only and I'm going to click on save. And now people can't submit text into the phone number form so you're just gonna click over here and you can see there are many different just my own sections over here i can just create as many as i want i can't even think of more so let's just say address all your basic fields and then any kind of expert field that you want so about yourself now once you have decided on what kind of forms you want what kind of details you want you can make this either in list view and gallery view that's just totally up to you and once you have done that you're going to save this up this is going to be auto saved you're going to publish your site and after you have published your site you're just going to click over here and then you are going to add this dynamic page and this form will be added within a new page on to your Wix website. So this is how easy it is to create a custom field on your Wix website. It's not that difficult and you don't have to worry about it being too confusing or too detailed or too abstract. It's going to be simple and easy to navigate through and you're going to be able to make something that actually fits your own preference of custom form. And this is how simple it is to create a Wix custom form and the best part about it is you can see I have four different sites over here on Wix and I can create custom forms for any of these websites and all of those custom form data entries are going to be separated within their individual dashboard so you don't have a dashboard for all of your forms what you're going to do to view your data entries is let's say if I go into this site and if I click on select and edit site over here, it's going to load a individual dashboard for that website specifically. So all the data present on this dashboard is from that specific website. And if I want to see any of the data entries that I have, I can go into the CRM tools over here on the left. I'm just gonna click on CRM tools and this is going to open up this basic menu where it says forms and submissions. So you can see all of your forms and submission entries over here. So it says I have one form on my side and I haven't had any submissions over here as well. So this is where you find the data. Now, if you go back into main menu and you scroll down into your content manager, basically the place where you, you cannot create a content manager or a custom forms directly from here, which is slightly inconvenient, but you can view the different kind of forms that you already have created from this section and you can add new items and remove old items from here as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own custom forms on Wix and I will catch you guys in the next video.